All right, guys, this is day 20, 20 out of 30 of our pants review series. We're going to do treatment for Kawasaki disease. This is something you definitely don't want to miss in kids. Treatment for Kawasaki disease. I'll give you guys a few seconds to think about it. And actually, I'm going to add to that because this is very easy. How do you recognize Kawasaki disease? Give me at least three out of the five to six characteristic signs of Kawasaki disease in a pediatric patient and then give me the treatment. So I'll give you guys a few seconds to think about it. Got it? Okay. So first off, how do you recognize Kawasaki disease? You've got a kiddo. So uh, Sometimes they say 555. Five, five. There's a lot of fives in this uh, diagnostic criteria. So usually they say a kiddo under five, but it could be mostly any pediatric patient. Uh, most common in people of Japanese origin, but could certainly happen to anybody. Just another one little thing to kind of make your radar go up. Is this kid Japanese? Just another tiny thing that'll make it more common. Uh, however, could be any kid of any ethnicity. So Japanese origin, five years old, or really any pediatric patient. Fever for five days or more, you know, usually viral exanthems little viral bugs and whatnot, they're not going to have fever for longer than five days, two, three, four days max, um, controllable with Tylenol, ibuprofen, but this kid's had a fever for five days, they're still sick, start thinking about possibly Kawasaki. What else is going on? They have a rash, uh, they have an enlarged, red, big, like, beefy tongue, they have palms and soles are also kind of red, similar to the tongue, they're kind of swollen, kind of red, they're peeling, also, enlarged lymph nodes, and lastly, conjunctivitis, bilateral conjunctivitis. You're thinking, okay, maybe it's pink eye, maybe it's bilateral pink eye, okay, but oh, this kid's also got a rash, that's a little weird, that doesn't come with pink eye. Wait, why is their tongue so big? Why are their lips so chapped? Whoa, look at those palms and soles, and they got cervical lymphadenopathy, that's got nothing to do with the conjunctivitis, what's going on with this kid? Oh, and they've got a fever, oh, for five days, okay, now I'm thinking Kawasaki, now this is much more dangerous than just a little viral conjunctivitis or anything else that you might be thinking about. So... Kawasaki disease, do not miss it, and that is uh, how you recognize it. Now, the original question, how do you treat it? And that is with IVIG, IV immunoglobulin, plus minus possibly aspirin, and that's an interesting one, and I always remember that studying for the pants, because they always say no aspirin in kids, but in this case, I, uh, Kawasaki disease is so dangerous that this is a, a time where they would actually consider possibly using aspirin, and it is kind of effective. Uh, so IVIG plus minus aspirin, and if it's still refractory, then steroids, you know, prednisone. Okay, so one more time. How do you recognize Kawasaki disease in kids? Fever for more than five days, uh, conjunctivitis, beefy kind of red tongue, rash, lymph nodes, palms and soles, and also, like I said earlier, uh, more common in people of Japanese origin.